what do you think about uh, the intermediate sizes that we have uh, with uh, my valve? Yes, we uh, talked well, about bike you know, <laughs> and To tell you the truth, I was fascinated when I saw the my valve for the first time. You know. I was really stunned you know, to see that uh, the valve was coming with half sizes. Yeah. You know, in such a way that you can really adapt uh, the optimal size of the valve to the annulus of the patient very well without uh, uh, under inflation, uh, bigger inflation of the balloon. Yeah. You know, the, you have the exact size adapted to the patient. So yeah. in such a way that the hemodynamic is absolutely good. There is no problem with the leaflets you know, uh, and the, the, the the hemodynamic results are absolutely optimal. Advantage of adapting the, the valve size to the annulus is that you you may have a, this may have a consequence on, on the the culture, you know, with uh, decreasing the structural valve dysfunction, you know, uh, avoiding any overlap of the leaflets or you know any problem of size. So th this is a great advantage. I was fascinated to see that, and so so a lot of advantages. And this valve is coming from Merrill. You know, I did not even know that Merrill existed uh, yeah. before. The, and uh, this is an uh, incredible company. You know, I visited the the, the company in Vapi, and uh, when I saw the the world that they are doing, the number of engineers, the number of technicians, the, the, the bright-minded people you know, working in this company. And now we also have extra large valve, which is an yes. unmet need. In, and we add sometimes in by large bicuspid valves, we add about 5 cc sure. of saline more. Whereas yes, now you, you can reach uh, 35, 36 millimeter of size. You know, right. with, uh, it's, uh, it's really uh, a very big advantage. You right. know? So uh, many characteristics you know, that I could not even imagine you know, coming from India. That, that, that's great, absolutely and, uh, great. And octa-core uh, visual octa alignment. Octa -core, you know, you when I saw the octa-core, you know, yeah. it, it, it's not a valve. It's a, it's a piece of jewelry. You know, you, you, you have this valve with the long skirt, and the, 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 it's fascinating to me. You know, the octagonal shape and two rows of octo octagonal shape. You know, they, they had to think about it. You know, because with this, uh, you reduce the foreshortening of the valve when you, uh, when you implant the valve. So it means that the uh, the accuracy of implantation is extreme, you know? yeah. and uh, all the cases that I have been <laughs> watching, you know, with Octacore, you know, finish with. Uh, first of all, it takes maybe uh, one minute, you know, to position the valve and deliver it. Yeah. <laughs> you cross the valve, you have an, an additional marker, you know, exactly where you are, and you inflate it, and that's it. And at the end of the game, you have no PVL and you have no pacemaker. You know, this is absolutely unbelievable. Whatever the uh, the anatomy, you know. For example, we had a case today, you know, but uh, I have been I have seen many cases, you know, when the the aorta is tortuous or the, when the aorta is extremely horizontal. You know, you can really position the valve extremely well, very fast, and uh, with an optimal result, almost always, you know. Uh, what do you want? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>